welcome back to my channel. My name is Deborah, and I'm here with another weekly grocery haul for our family of four, soon to be five, and the baby due in July of 2023. And I will show you everything that we got this week, and I think you'll be proud of me. I stayed in budget. So this week, I was able to stay in budget, not even within budget, actually below our budget. So I mentioned last grocery haul that we raised our budget because we saw that we were consistently going over budget and we had to kind of be realistic about what was going on, kind of you no know, inflation and just kind of things just cost more. So our budget just had to go up a little bit more so we won't be disappointed every single week. So we raised our budget up to about 90 to $100 per week and we were able to keep it below budget. I cannot believe it. Let me show you what we got this week and kind of differences of what we've gotten from other past weeks. This week we picked up a package of blueberries. Now this is something I pick up quite regularly and it was on my grocery list. Uh, we go through this, sometimes we'll go through it pretty quickly, sometimes we don't and whatever is not used we throw it in the freezer because we don't want to waste food. Things are so expensive and so if we notice it's about to go bad, we'll throw them in the fridge or we'll make pancakes that day and these are going in it. We also picked up some mangoes. I picked up three mangoes this week, which is not my normal, and I still had a couple of mangoes left from my last grocery haul. But guess what? These went down in price. These were 49 cents per, and it went down from weeks ago, it was 99 cents per mango. So I picked up a few keep me satisfied and kind of manage these cravings because the baby wants mangoes so I'm gonna buy them. Next I picked up some pineapple. Now we do not normally pick up pineapple but the weather is getting nice and who does not want to eat some nice tropical type fruit now that the weather is getting hot. And so I picked up some fresh pineapple. I cannot wait to cut into this and make some can you make pineapple juice if we don't go through the whole thing? So I'm actually really excited about this. Or freeze it. We also picked up some grapes. Now, I went and tasted these grapes when I got home, and I'm a little bit disappointed. Like, so I've been picking up some red grapes instead of green ones, because I felt like the green ones weren't as good whenever I picked them up. And I picked up a bag of red ones, and they're not even all that great. They're really, really soft. And I personally like grapes that are really, really firm. So I'm a little disappointed in that. And that means that we're actually gonna have to eat these a lot quicker so they don't go bad. Um, for those of you who don't know, we usually go grocery shopping every single week. Um, we will eat everything that we buy. We are a family of four. Uh, me and my husband work from home, and our kids are also home with us. So we eat everything that we buy and we will go through all of our groceries within a week. So we're gonna have to eat these really quick. I also picked up some Honeycrisp apples and if you are also um, not a new watcher, but not a new viewer of my videos or grocery hauls, you know that I pick these up every single week. This was on my grocery haul list this week because we had actually gone through all of our apples from last week. So I needed to make sure that I picked up some apples because these are a staple in our house. We put them on our snack plates for the kids when they wake up from snack. So like a lot of these like fruits and stuff like that or veggies will go on their snack plates after nap time. We picked up some vegetables. We didn't pick up too many vegetables, but we did pick up some peppers. We, I plan to make some stuffed peppers this week. So this is actually gonna be perfect for that. And I still have some green peppers from last week. And those also I'll probably just throw in with these stuffed peppers so we don't waste any since we didn't go through all of them. I picked up one avocado and I made sure this one was pretty hard. If you don't know, these actually can last pretty long in your fridge. I tend to get a couple or a few of them really, really t like hard to touch, put them in the fridge and I'll get one that's soft to touch and I'll eat that. And then when I'm ready to start consuming the others, I'll put them on the counter and let them ripen up. And guess what? They're still like look like they're fresh, like I just bought them. So that's a great tip if you didn't know that. I also picked up some broccoli crowns. We ran out of broccoli and we've been loving roasting broccoli and roasting zucchini. I still have one zucchini left from last week's grocery haul. So I definitely am going to make some more roasted veggies and we've been enjoying that, especially now that the weather's been getting really, really nice and warm. So this is gonna be great addition to a dinner side. I also picked up a bag of onions. We were we 
weren't running low on onions. My husband actually had picked up, we had, I think a couple of weeks ago, we were running low on onions and my husband ended up going to pick up red onions. Red onions aren't typically my favorite to cook with, um, so I just so I still have them in the fridge and we are using it, but I actually prefer to just use white or yellow onions, so I grabbed a bag. I picked up another bag of spinach. We love having spinach on hand. We put them in salads. We'll have them as like a taco bowl. We'll have them, um, I'll put them in my breakfast and eggs. We use uh, spinach quite often in our house. We still have some leftover from last week and we'll continue to eat through that. And if we don't get through it, probably by the mid or end of next week, we'll probably stick it in the freezer and then I'll just use that in a, in a pasta or something like that. I picked up some ground turkey. So last week was the first time I bought this in a very, very long time and I fell in love with it all over again. I missed having ground turkey. It is so, so, so good. I The way we had it was I, I made it all at once. I put some peppers in it, onions, garlic, seasoned it and put a bowl in the fridge and we consumed it as like a side for rice. Uh, we mixed it up. We made put them on top of tacos or not put them on top of nachos which are super good so typically I will make a lot of my if I buy like I buy a big batch of proteins and so I'll cook them up and I'll put them in the fridge and we'll consume it throughout the week and it kind of keeps us accountable or keeps it the food in there so we're not thinking oh we want to go make something or we want to go buy something it saves us money to already have the food cooked on hand and then I'll just add them to different types of meals or I'll even if when this was done we put it in a pasta um, so it's less work for us and like we will actually eat through it. That same goes for um, turkey. I typically buy this once a week. I will make the, pla the whole platter and then I'll put it in the fridge and we will have this with rice, we'll have it with pasta, I'll make chicken salad, we'll put it in a wrap. We eat this in so many different ways and we just keep it in the fridge and eat it as we need it. So then the food's already made. I don't need to think about it. It's a one item less on my list. And if you're a mom and you're busy, try and make your proteins ahead of time if you can, so then you don't have to think about it and it just makes your life so much easier during the week. We also picked up our normal hash browns. These are something I pick up every single week. The kids love this so for a quick breakfast. I'm, if I'm in a pinch or I need to make breakfast really, really quick, I will make um, some hash browns, stick them in the oven, and then I'll probably serve it with like yogurt, fruit, or whatever. We also picked up some waffles. This is something I also buy quite frequently. Um, I will buy this and I'll, if I don't make pancakes, they might have this. Um, another quick, easy, convenient breakfast item. Now this was not on my grocery list, but because we were running late when we went to buy groceries, I knew I needed something quick for lunch for them, so I, I bought this and they had um, some fish with <laughs> some french fries. So this was not on my list and so that's why it's already open, but I picked this up. Next thing we bought was some pasta sauce. I, have not I haven't tried this organic tomato and basil pasta sauce, but I've been really wanting to try it every time I start at the grocery store. So I picked it up and I cannot wait to try and let you guys know if it's good, because if it is good, I'll pick it up next week again. So this I'm actually excited to try. The thing I picked up was some organic black beans. This, I pick this up quite frequently because um, it's something that we make with our children, for our children um, and us as well. So I'll make rice and then have beans on the side or bean sauce with it. So I actually pick this up quite frequently. Um, we already had one can left in the pantry, so I just need to pick up one. I'm trying to keep myself under budget so I didn't overbuy. I picked up my husband some two cans of tuna. He likes to have this as a snack or sometimes he'll make us tuna wraps and we haven't had that in a couple of weeks since we ran through it and I realized we did not have it. It was on my list, I grabbed it, so I'm glad I did because he'll probably make me some tuna wraps. I picked up some Parmesan cheese. I think this, this is Parmesan and Romano cheese. I like to make pasta a lot, so this was on my list and I needed it. I also picked up some seasonings. I ran out of onion powder, so I grabbed that garlic powder, and some paprika. These are the three things I needed in my pantry. I had it on my list and I grabbed them. Next, I picked up some spaghetti. I pick this up maybe once every two to three weeks. Since this is like the family size pack, it's, like, it's two pounds, so it's a family size. 
And so I pick this up once every couple of weeks or three weeks and it lasts a, a long time and it's good. And it's quick and easy dinner when the kids want it or even a lunch. So I grabbed the family pack. I also picked up like the family, another two pound family size of elbow macaroni. This is something that we haven't had in a while. My daughter saw it on the shelf, she wanted it, so I grabbed it. And this, this will be another quick family dinner I can make during the week. I also picked up some apple juice. This is something I always pick up every week, about two bottles worth of apple juice. My kids love this. We, they get one cup a day in the morning and they savor it and they love it so much. And it tastes really good too, I won't lie. We have cups too, it's so good. I also picked up some fruit snacks. My kids already got into it. If you guys are not new to my grocery hauls, my kids love these. We pick this up every week. They get it as, as a snack once a day, or I don't know, whatever. And these are also great for the car rides, and I grabbed it. Now this is not normally part of my normal weekly grocery hauls, but we wanted to try different snacks. I feel like the kids have been getting so tired of the cookies or chips or whatever we normally get. So I tried to get um, something that was different. They like it and this was a hit. So we're definitely not gonna go, this is definitely not gonna go to waste. They already got into it. I got into it. It was good. I also picked up some string cheese. This is something that I've been picking up quite regularly. My daughter has started to really like string cheese, so we've been enjoying eating these uh, during the week, and I'll have them as a snack late night with some oranges or some kind of fruit, and it's so good. We also picked up some yogurt. I have this in our fridge, and I pick it up every week. My son loves these for breakfast. He'll have it with granola, he'll have it with waffles or whatever we have on hand for breakfast. He loves having these, so we make sure we pick it up every week. We were running out of butter, so I picked up a package of butter. This I cook with all the time, so I always have to have butter in the fridge. Because I also bake a lot, so butter is essential to our family and we ran out, and so I grabbed this. So this is the whole grocery haul for this week. It wasn't as big, obviously, uh, but I made sure this week to stick to the essentials. Stick to what we needed. Don't buy more. Don't try and grab things that weren't on the list. And I think I limited that to only about two items that weren't on my list. And guess what? We were able to keep this haul to $82.99. It's been weeks <laughs> since I've been able to keep our grocery budget below. Like this actually even goes towards our previous budget. Like we used to have, a well, before we changed and raised our budget, our budget was typically somewhere between $75 to $85. And guess what? This would have fit in my old budget. So this is what we got for our family of four. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe. I release a new grocery haul every single week. And I'd love to hear what you guys get when you go to Aldi's and what's your favorite types of things to get during the week and how you stick in budget. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later, bye.